All right, today class, what we're gonna be doing is putting on a title block and a border on our nicely taped down piece of paper. So we're in mechanical drafting unit still. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with some measurement. So I'm gonna take my scale and I'm gonna measure in a half inch on the right, half inch on the left, and measure up a half inch on the bottom. I'm going to measure down three quarters from the top. Okay. On the way down, I'm going to mark quarter and half because that'll be my title block uh, towards the end of my project here. So right now I have all of my measurements laid out on my piece of paper. Next, I'm going to take my T-square. This is your T-square, again, as a review. Um, this is used to draw horizontal lines, okay, and horizontal lines only. The head of the T-square needs to remain to your left-hand side if you are a right-handed person. And it needs to be tight to the edge of the drafting board. So if you look here, it's nice and snug, nice and tight to the edge of the drafting board. So I'm going to start with the bottom uh, horizontal line first. So I'm going to put my T-square, I'm going to put my pencil down on the actual mark, bring my T-square down, touching my pencil, pick my pencil up, put the eraser in the direction of travel, and I'm gonna draw a nice, bold, dark line all the way across, okay? I'm gonna do that for the two border lines, okay, so upper and lower. For the title block up here, I wanna draw a really light line. So I'm gonna put zero pressure on my pencil tip. This is called a construction line. Okay, so I want to leave that later uh, for later use uh, in constructing my text. So again, I'm going to set my pencil there. And zero pressure on the tip of the pencil, I'm going to draw all the way across. So I have a couple of construction lines set up for future use. Okay, so as you can see, I have a dark horizontal line at the top and two really light horizontal lines. And then down at the bottom, I have a very dark uh, lower horizontal line. Next, I need to establish a few vertical lines, okay? So to draw vertical lines, that's where I'm gonna grab some extra tools. I have two triangles here. I have our 45 degree, 90 degree triangle. Then I also have a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. It doesn't matter which one you use to draw a vertical line. However, I choose the 30, 60 due to its length on one leg of the triangle. So I'm gonna line this up again, put my pencil on the mark, get it lined up, pick up my pencil, bring it back, tip the eraser in the direction of travel, put a nice dark line for my border. Do the same on the opposite side. Put my pencil on there on the mark, bring it back, draw that vertically, okay? Now I have what's the start of a border on my actual sheet. To finish this up, I'm gonna set my pencil down here, put it off this side, and I'm gonna pick up an eraser and an eraser shield, okay? The eraser, sh eraser shield is used to cover up the items that you wanna keep, and the eraser is used to erase what's inside of that area. So as you see here, I removed that pencil mark. So I'm gonna take out what's left out here, do the same for all four corners, your goal here is to have a nice dark rectangle to represent the border. Okay. Brush that off. What I can do now is I can come back through if I have a little bit thicker pencil mark like what I have right there. I'm gonna actually take my eraser shield and thin that out just a little bit so the lines look consistently and even all the way across. So the types of lines I have on here, two construction lines at the top, very light that an arm's length away they disappear. I have a very dark border, okay, which is known as a border line um, and or an object line. It could be an object line if it's actually something inside of the actual part that we're gonna develop and design in the next uh, series of videos here. All right, happy drawing.